beauties welcome back to my channel so i am super duper excited to be bringing to you my drugstore haul video i'm choosing to do this video on maybelline because of the fact that they are normally one of the first brands you hover more to as far as mascara um lipstick colors because they have so much to offer but yeah i'm going to be showing you guys some of the products that i picked up and I'm gonna let you know how they feel, if they're worth the purchase. I'm not looking to bash them or anything like that. I do hope you guys enjoy this video today. So without further ado, I'm gonna jump right into it. I'm going to rehydrate my lips because they are dry. And I'm going to be rehydrating my lips with the Too Faced Cosmetics Lip Injection Lip Gloss. Next, I'm gonna go in with another non-drugstore product just because the product that I did purchase from the drugstore that I will be using does not have a blemish control effect. And I want to make sure that I am taking care of my skin as well with my primers. So I'm just going to go in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, the blemish control primer. And I'm just going to go ahead and prime my face. Okay, so the first product that I'm going to be showing you guys is the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. This little thing is about $8. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger because I'm not really sure. So this is actually a clear solution. It's no tint to it. Yeah, like this pretty much is a clear solution. Oh. Okay, this first, okay. All right. This feels great. Okay, this feels really good. Oh my goodness. Okay, $8 come through. This actually felt really good going on. This is really smooth. My face is really soft. Um, it's not really matte, should I say. It does feel like it's dewy. It's called baby skin. That's why it's so soft. Duh, okay, let me just ignore. All right, so the next products that I will be using in this video will be the Maybelline City Mini Palettes. These were $11. For this look, I will be using the Shayla City Mini Palette, I think. X Shayla, it's by Shayla. These are the colors that come with the Shayla City Mini Palette. This is the Maybelline Master Concealer. This is in the shade 40 Medium. I want to place it all over my eyeball. Now it's time to actually go in and create some art. I'm gonna go in with this shade here. I kind of wish it was more matte, but this will do. So the next color that I will be going in with from this City Mini Palette will be this red color here. So this is what my eyes look like so far. Now I'm gonna go in with that same Master Concealer. And you all probably know what I'm gonna do now. Which is cut my crease. Now I'm gonna go in with this light shimmer color here. This is a gold, by the way, this is a deeper gold. I think I'm gonna go in with the lighter shimmer color here because honestly, that looks so pretty with the purple side by side. Okay guys, and this is all that I will be using this city mini palette for. So I don't know if you've noticed, but I have not touched my eyebrows. My eyebrows are normally, if not the first, they are the second thing that I do whenever I do my makeup. Unfortunately, I will not be using any Maybelline products for my eyebrows. I will be using what I normally use, which is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Dip in the shade Ebony. And I will be cleaning it up with the shade Fawn um, from my LA Pro Girl Concealer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and then I'll come back to finish the rest of my face, okay? All right guys, so my brows are done. They're highlighted, they're filled in. Now it's time to move to my face. All right guys, so for my foundation, I picked up the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I picked up two shades because it was really, really hard for me to figure out which shade I was. The two shades that I picked up were the 362 and the 360. The 362 would be Truffle and the 360 would be Mocha. So I'll go ahead and just swatch both of these for you so that you can see which one is closer to me. So the first shade I'm gonna try is Truffle and I'm gonna let you guys see the difference.
does appear to be a little dark. Now I'm gonna go in with mocha. That shade mocha looks like it has a really red undertone. Hopefully mixing them will get me the, the color that I need, fingers crossed. This is the finished look using both of the foundations combined. I will say that I look super dark. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm really not feeling I'm just, nope, it's, mm -mm. The coverage is amazing, I will say that. This is a full coverage foundation. Um, I don't see any scars, I do have scarring on my face. I don't see any scars showing through. I will say the coverage is perfect. If you're looking for a full coverage foundation, this is the foundation to use. I don't know, maybe I didn't pick the right shades. Just gonna move on to the next thing and hopefully that concealer works in my favor and brings this whole thing together. Next, we will be going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This concealer is in the shade Deep Fonce. There were five of these, I believe. Five of these concealers, five or six concealers. This was the darkest shade that they had. I'm gonna say this, I don't like this concealer. Just by applying it, it does have a pink undertone that I do not like. I don't know, it just, it could have been better. This concealer would probably be a no-go for me, but I'll go ahead and blend out and we'll see what the finished blending looks like. So oh, this is the finished look using the Fit Me Concealer. I will say that I am looking very, 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 very pale. The camera doesn't seem to really be picking up what I look like, but I look very, very pale. I also forgot to mention the two Fit Me foundations. They are a retail of $9 a piece, and the Fit Me concealer is retailing for $8. So now I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face. I did not pick up any Maybelline contour palettes or anything of that nature. I'm just gonna be going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. I did not purchase any kind of setting powder to put under my eyes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with my Sasha Buttercup uh, loose setting powder to set under my eyes to make sure that they don't crease. Next, I'm gonna go in to line my eyes with my Kat Von D tattooed eyeliner. This is not a drugstore product. I just did not pick up an eyeliner because I have really, it just I just didn't want to, you know? Now I'm gonna move in with the Maybelline Mini Lash Mascara. This is um, the Lash Discovery brand, I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna go in with this to define my top and my bottom lashes. Okay, I went ahead and applied my lashes off camera. I am wearing the Sephora Collection House of Lashes. Unfortunately, that box has no name. I looked all over the box. There's no specific name for these lashes. I'm gonna go in and line my bottom lash line. So I picked up this cute little blush compactor from Maybelline's Fit Me Collection. This is in the shade Wine. I did not get a chance to get the price for it, but I know it had to be around seven to eight dollars for this. Hopefully this works in my favor. I'm just gonna use a little bit from here. Yeah, I really like this color. Like this was actually a really good investment. I do like the shade of it. I think it goes really well with my skin, even though the foundation was a little off. I will be using the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. And this would be in the shade Deep as well. This was about $10. I'm just gonna dab a little bit onto the brush that I'm using. And okay, so for my lips, I did pick up a Maybelline lip pencil. This is a Color Central Precision Lip Liner. This was about seven to eight dollars. They didn't have many colors to choose from. Hopefully this color comes out as dark as it looks. This is in the color 40 Raisin.
This is in the shade Raisin, but there are raisins darker than this. I really don't like it. I figured that I wasn't gonna like it once I took it out of the wrapping and I saw the actual lip pencil color. This is way darker than what the pencil color is. Obviously, these are two different colors. I'm gonna go in and save the day with my Tarte uh, Cosmetic Lip Liner. This is in the shade Squad. Now I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Toasted Truffle Matte Lipstick. Y'all, what the heck is on my lips? I just, I don't know. I, I don't know, maybe I used the wrong lip liner. So we're gonna try this again. We're gonna remove this lip color because I'm just really not feeling this color. Hey guys, so this is the finished look that I'm going with. These are the lips that I decided to do. How I achieved these lips, I used the NYX Sway Matte Lip Liner in Club Hopper, and I went back in with, this shade is Toasted Truffle in the Maybelline Matte Lip Collection. I will be right back to come back and review. All right, beauties, so this is the finished look that I achieved using a majority of the Maybelline Fit Me products and just Maybelline products in general. I will say that as of right now, the way that everything has come together, you know, let me check myself out. It doesn't look horrible. On camera, this looks really beautiful. Um, it looks like a normal beat. It looks like I'm ready to go out and start my day. I will say the Fit Me foundations are full coverage if you are struggling with acne scars or anything in that nature. It is kind of risky because you can't really tell what really is your shade until you actually try it out. But I definitely think when you do try it, you will be happy with the coverage. Now for the concealer, I'm just gonna be completely honest. I really think that if you are my skin tone or darker, that is a no-go for you. Do not go for those concealers. You will look like a ghost, okay? Until I started contouring and blushing, it looked really ashy over here. And I didn't really like that look. It's a no-go. I really feel like that is something that they should be working on. And I do believe that they are working on it because Maybelline has been out for too long to not catch the wave. This is so freaking cute. And I know I keep saying that it's on the go, but literally you can throw this in your purse and keep it moving. This is smaller than a wallet, okay? The colors are very pigmented. I think you'll be very satisfied with the colors. The golds in here are so pretty. I definitely give this palette a thumbs up, this shade. I haven't tried the other ones yet. Stay tuned because I will be trying those out as well. I think my favorite product out of everything though would be the Baby Skin Pore Eraser. This feels so good, I wanted to tear up. I don't really suffer from a real pore problem. My pores are normally not super like, yo, you need to fix that, that looks a little wicked. I do believe this would be a really good investment. That lip liner may have been super duper pretty on someone of a lighter shade. That shade, I will not be getting again. That's not for me. Made it clear, boom, boom, pow. Love the blush. The blush really brought my face back to life. I am so thankful for blushes. You should be too. And finally, for the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, I will say that this is pretty decent. It's pretty good. My face doesn't look wicked and I put it all over my face. I just didn't like when I first applied it. It looked as though it was super light. This should not be lighter than what it's showing me. There is no reason for any brand to have something that looks brown or just looks dark and appear light when you use it. That's definitely a thumbs down for me. You are deceiving the customers and we do not have time to play games. I think that it's a thumbs up. Just about all the products are pretty okay, except for the concealer. They could definitely work on the shade ranges for that. I don't really remember what the darkest shade was of foundation, um, but I do know people of color come darker than that. So I think to expand that will be even better. And then the middle tones in between will be a little bit better. I do feel like Truffle and Mocha could have had um, another shade in between that. Me, hello. I will be bringing to you some more content like this. Hopefully when YouTube gives me more uh, filming time, when I get to the certain amount of subscribers that I need. If you did like this video, don't even worry about subscribing. Just thumbs this video up if you liked it. Um, that really supports the content that I'm bringing. And I will see you guys later, like I always say.